everybody, Tom with PC Gamer here at the AMD booth at PAX South, and I'm here with Amir, developer of Omnibus. How's it going? It's good. How are you, man? All right. Enjoying PAX. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Omnibus, because we've talked about it on PCGamer.com a little bit, but mm -hmm. what is it for those who don't know? So um, it's you play as a bus that's an unstoppable force of nature. Uh, it can roll through and bust through anything, but if it lands on its head or falls off the map, you lose. Other than that, it's just all about chaos, silly physics game, super fun. Unstoppable bus, but like a turtle, it's it's like back it, yeah. as its weakness. It's yep. It's cool. it's if uh, it's, yeah, it's like a turtle bus. And the game is kind of very intentionally lo-fi, I yep. would say. Like, how did this come about? Did it start as a sandbox? And uh, there's missions for each there's, one, yep. but like it feels very sandboxy at its core. Yeah. So that was the original idea was to have it in this huge cityscape where you're just busting through stuff. But then we decided to you know scale it down a little bit and just have fun, goofy missions where you're doing everything from like robbing a bank to planting corn on the moon and just busting through everything while you're doing it. It's uh, super goofy. We're trying to go for like a PlayStation 1 kind of look, but it's not quite as, it's a little bit more crisp, but it's all low poly with pixel art textures. I like it a lot. I think, I think it looks really good. And you, you're, speaking of PlayStation 1 kind of generation graphics, you, your latest trailer was yeah. kind of this over the top sappy thing about it being a canceled game from the 80s or something yeah, like that, right? Yeah, 92. It's 92. 92. Yeah, I. It was. Uh, I thought that was a really good idea for uh, for a trailer. If if only we had Crystal Pepsi and Funyuns as our sponsors. But, <laughs> but um, why um, why go with that weird kind of like lo-fi vibe? Why do that? Um. So part of it was because uh, we really dig the aesthetic, and the other part was. Um, it's it's pretty like easy to do. We're only a two man team, and that allows us to pump out assets quickly and create like fun, like small missions really easily. Right. With, within like a time frame. Cool. Um, but yeah, we really like that old timey look and feel, and we've totally like looked at old games and been like, oh, that's something we could do that. We just got to put like a gradient on a plane, and it looks like light. That's beautiful. Let's do it. And and clearly. The entire game takes itself very seriously. Is, oh, is it's, a, very, it's a very it's a serious piece, game. Right? Yeah, we, we just submitted it to multiple serious game uh, conventions and festivals. Narrative, very deep narrative. Well, uh, when, when can we expect it? Um, spring of this year, 2016. Cool. Be sure to stay tuned at PCGamer.com for more from PAX South.